another day and i'm back with another new video hey guys vimal here today in the house we have samsung's all new galaxy m53 5g and this is what we'll be unboxing and checking out in this video so m53 5g is an upgrade over their previous gen m52 and comes with a lot of new upgrades and improvements and there is a lot i'll have to talk about this model guys so make sure to watch it till the end it comes in this sort of sleek box packaging guys as usual eco-friendly packaging so there's no travel adapter on the inside but good thing is samsung is giving you a special offer on their charger guys so you can get that for only 299 rupees on amazon you'll find it in the accessory section offer applicable on both m53 5g and their m33 5g as well anyways moving on let's get started with the unboxing let me grab my knife and cut this seal and there you go as soon as you unbox it we've got our brand new phone at the top and we have the mystic green edition in the hands Oh boy, we'll just come back to this in a moment. You also have an accessory box over here, which includes a SIM ejection tool. You get some paperwork and type C cable for charging and data transfer. That is it guys. These are the stuff we got in the package. And as I've told you, Galaxy M53 5G is available in two colors and two variants. We have the Mystic Green Edition and this is a 6 plus 128 GB model. And oh my God, are you guys kidding me? Phone is super sleek and slim guys, only 7.4 mm and looks quite attractive in this new color. Looks like pastel sort of color guys, mystic green. So let me give you a physical overview and talk about the specs. On the front of the phone comes with a 6.7 inch 1080p Super AMOLED plus display with 120 hertz refresh rate. And going to the top, you got a 32 megapixel selfie camera and a tiny earpiece just above that. To the side here, you've got a side mounted fingerprint scanner built into the power button and a volume rocker as well. And look at the thickness guys, super slim phone, only around 7.4 mm. At the top, you've got a secondary noise cancellation microphone and to the left side is where you've got the SIM card tray. It's a hybrid type tray, supports either two nano SIMs or one nano SIM and one micro SD card. And that's it. Now moving over to the bottom side. This is where you've got all the connectivity ports. You've got type C port over here, primary microphone and a single down firing speaker. And there you go guys. Here's how the back of the phone looks like our all new Galaxy M53 5G in Mystic Green Edition. As I've told you, it's got this pastel sort of look on it and kind of has a glossy sort of shimmering effect guys. Build quality is decent, back of the body is made of polycarbonate as usual and has a clean and decent finishing. You've got the Samsung branding on the bottom, that's it, nothing else on it and good thing is phone doesn't seem to attract any sort of fingerprints that easily. Now heading over to the top, phone comes with a quad camera setup and main highlight is this is the only phone in this price segment to offer a 108 megapixel quad camera setup. You got a 108 megapixel primary camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide angle, 2 megapixel macro and 2 megapixel for depth sensing and a tiny LED flash just below that. And talking about the battery, phone is powered by a 5000 milliampere battery despite being so slim. So that's it, our complete overview on the design and build quality part. What I'll do is I'll quickly set it up and then be right back to continue the video. So guys, I'm back to continue the video. Phone is all set up and good to go. And I've also set up the side mounted fingerprint scanner. So let's quickly put that to a test and see how it performs. Okay. Hey, that was fast. So as you can see, fingerprint scanner on this phone works well and quickly unlocks the phone guys most of the time. And there you go, this is how the display on our brand new M53 5G phone looks like. Initial impressions display on this phone looks absolutely gorgeous guys. You've got a 6.7 inch 1080p Super AMOLED plus display and looks very impressive. We'll just come back to the display quality part in a moment. First, let me show you the UI and talk about the software and all that stuff. As you might already know, Samsung's phone come with like one UI 4.1 and this phone runs on Android version 12 out of the box guys so everything is like new and up to date so that's a good thing and heading over to the storage section well this is the 6 plus 128 GB variant right so out of the box you have around like 96.5 GB of free space available guys plenty of space and in case if that is not sufficient for you you can expand the storage using a micro SD and go up to like 1 TB also and best part is guys M53 5G also supports RAM plus features 
feature so on board you have like 6 gigs of ram right so you can expand it by extra 6 gb and get a total of almost like 12 gigs of ram on this variant and on the 8 plus 256 gb variant guys you can expand up to 8 gb and get a total of almost like 16 gigs of ram on this model so that is pretty awesome and before we actually talk about the phone's performance and talk about the cpu let me just quickly open up youtube play some video and show you how the display and speaker quality on this phone is like Ah, gaya bhai, 3090 Ti in the house. Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. So two years ago when Nvidia announced the 3090, I think around September 2020, everybody were like awestruck guys because that was like the most powerful GPU that time, right? It was called as the BF GPU, big ferocious GPU. And now finally after this, Okay, you guys saw the video demo, right? There's only one thing I can say. Display on this phone is like absolutely gorgeous, guys. Impressive display. Samsung never disappoints with their Super AMOLED panels. And on top of that, this is a Super AMOLED Plus variant, guys. So Plus is slightly different than the regular Super AMOLED. It's almost like 30% thinner panel. And because of that, the whole phone feels like super slim. I've already showed you during the unboxing, right? M53 5G looks like a wafer, guys. Silicon wafer. And it's a pretty attractive and stylish looking phone and coming to the display quality as i've told you very good display there's good amount of detail thanks to 1080p resolution everything looks crisp and clear on the panel and colors though look rich and vibrant guys very good and accurate colors white balance was also on point contrast levels were nice deep black levels and brightness was also excellent guys usually in the normal mode you can expect around like 480 nits of brightness but when you enable high brightness mode from the settings you can go almost up to like 800 nits of brightness guys so you can view this phone in any sort of outdoor situations not an issue at all overall quite impressed with the display on this phone and talking about the speaker it's got a mono down firing speaker and quality of the speaker is also nice it is producing good clarity with minimum distortion audio output is also loud and reasonable Moving on, let me tell you about the cameras. Cameras are the main highlight on this phone, guys. And Samsung has greatly improved it compared to the previous gen M52 5G. Now it features like a 108 megapixel quad camera setup and 108 megapixel primary camera is quite impressive on this model, guys. It features Nona binning technology and produces like impressive results. I actually shot like a couple of pictures and I was like blown away by the detail. There was a huge difference in the regular mode and 108 megapixel mode. For example, just have a look Look at this shot over here this particular photo was shot in the regular mode and just look at the detail and text or numbers in this photo guys i'll just zoom in and show you now have a look at the same photo that was shot in 108 megapixel mode everything looks like crisp and clear even when you zoom it this much right so i was like very impressed with the results guys and along with that it does have like an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera right and that was also producing like good results so i'll definitely include some photo samples and shots at the end of this video make sure to watch that till the end and wait a second i forgot to highlight the phone also supports some samsung exclusive camera related features like you got object eraser on board and this feature can be very useful to remove any unnecessary objects in a photo for example somebody photo bombs your picture and you don't want that person to be in that shot you can easily use this feature from the gallery and remove that object or person from the photo just like this and along with that you do have like photo remaster option available this can be used to greatly enhance the clarity and detail of your old or maybe like low resolution pictures and greatly improve the overall results this is how it looks like and just like the other Samsung phones, even the new Galaxy M53 5G features their exclusive things like Samsung's Knox security is there, Alt Z Life supports 12 bands of 5G. It also supports something known as auto data switching. Now this can be like very useful, especially for people who travel a lot, you know, business people or marketing people. So thing is, if you install like two SIMs on this model, right, and you go to some place and there is some network issue, then usually what happens is you don't receive calls or messages or maybe data, right, mobile data. And and in those situations, what the phone will do is it will automatically switch between the same guys from primary to secondary so that you never stop receiving calls or you never face any interruptions in your mobile data guys. So very handy and useful feature. And along with that, Samsung has also introduced something known as intelligent voice focus. So this is used to like greatly improve your call quality experience. What it does is it cuts down all the unnecessary background noises and greatly focuses on the caller's voice guys. You can better hear and understand them. So pretty useful thing. 
Now comes the main part of the video guys, let's talk about the performance of this phone. As I've told you, Samsung's Galaxy M53 5G is powered by MediaTek's Dimensity 900 CPU. It's an octa-core CPU based on a 6 nanometer process, so quite efficient and is great for like day-to-day -day usage. You won't face any sorts of lags or stutters and especially in like day-to-day -day usage now, phone feels like buttery smooth guys. Like opening and closing of apps, transitions and thanks to that added 120Hz refresh rate, phone feels like muska guys buttery smooth transitions and coming to gaming performance d900 can also do good gaming as well you can play most of the games like asphalt pubg bgmi not an issue so that is pretty much it guys our unboxing and first look at samsung's all new galaxy m53 5g phone so do share your thoughts like what do you think about the phone in the comment section down below so i'll be using this model for a couple of days and after that i'll be making my full in-depth review guys and in the review we'll be covering the display quality how is the cpu performance especially for like day-to-day -day usage and also gaming and if you have like any other requests like you want me to test out this particular game let me know in the comment section down below and in that video only we'll talk about the camera quality as well and go in depth and cover battery life and other little little things as well so apart from these if you have any other questions do ask me and i'll cover them in my second video and talking about the price so samsung has launched this phone at an introductory price offer of around 23,990 rupees in India and as I've told you guys you can check out their accessories bundle Samsung is having an offer on their chargers so you can get the travel adapter for only 299 rupees on Amazon in the accessory section down below I'll leave links for all of these in the description box below you can check it out there so that is pretty much it I hope you all enjoyed watching their video and got to know everything make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos and I'll see you all in my next one